how can you sell your home as soon as possible and still maintain a high sales price? My name is Peter Shabri with the Shabri Group, and I'm going to answer that question for you in the next three minutes. Of course, nobody wants to rush the sale of their home, but there are times when we do find in our life experience that we need to sell our home sooner than later or faster rather than the usual amount of time that it takes to be on the market. Now, we are in a market where a properly priced, well-positioned home will sell quickly, and yet we're also seeing that market start to move sideways a little bit, and so it's, it's appropriate for us to be having the conversation about, okay, well, if the market does balance out and it does take longer for the average sales cycle to transpire, then what are some of the strategies for accelerating that sales cycle? And there's three points I wanna go over with you. The first one is I wanna review with you the three Ds of preparation. A properly prepared home will sell faster. And those three Ds are number one, decluttering, right? Getting all of our personal effects out of there and removing a lot of the stuff so the spaces look bigger, more accessible, more presentable. The second one is doing a deep clean, making sure the property looks clean and compelling for buyers. And the third one is depersonalizing, removing ourselves from the space so other buyers can see themselves in that space. When you deep clean, declutter, and depersonalize, the space is much more accessible to people, potential buyers of your home, and offers can come in faster. The second technique to accelerate the sale of your home is the pre-listing inspection and the repairs that can follow. The single biggest undoer of sales that have been put together is the inspection contingency. And so when we're counseling with our clients that need to sell their home faster or sooner than later, uh, we always suggest that you do a pre-listing inspection where you have an inspector actually come out and inspect the property before you go on the market. That way you can identify anything that might um, terminate a transaction or undermine a, a transaction from closing uh, and even do some of the repairs that might cause friction and further negotiating when you're already into an accepted contract. This clears the way and removes all kinds of drama and issues and static from what should be or what you're looking to be a fast and smooth transaction. Side note, if you are in a market segment that still is experiencing multiple offers, doing the inspection ahead of time and sharing that with buyers before they write on your house can actually trigger multiple offers that have waived the inspection contingency, which is a really big opportunity uh, on the sell side right now. So what is the third step that you can do to sell your home for as quickly as possible and still maintain a good sales price? That is buyer incentives. Again, in most of the market right now, this isn't necessarily something that you must do to sell quickly. However, if you wanna stack the odds in your favor, what you wanna do, the buyer incentive that's, moving, that's uh, having the greatest impact right now on accelerating transaction speed, is offering the incentive of a buyer rate buy down. These are called a 2 1, a 3 2 1, or even a 1% standard buy down. We don't need to get into the technicalities, but these are ways that you can increase a buyer's borrowing power or decrease their cost of ownership. It's kind of both sides of the same coin, which can be really compelling for a buyer who's looking to maximize their housing dollar and make them want to purchase your home versus that are others there in the market. So that's the scoop. All three of these techniques require a little bit more unpacking. If that's something that you're curious about, of course, talk to your local real estate agent, and I'll see you in two weeks for another post. Thanks for watching.